Hey everybody, Dr. Doc Vong here. I'm the world's number one weight loss surgeon, author of 13 books and two more on the way, always working for you. This is the first of a four-part series on obesity and money, how obesity and money are related, right? Because I realized one day that even if I told you the perfect things to eat, the perfect green smoothie recipes, the, the, the perfect workout, I would always have people that gave me reasons like, I can't afford a smoothie maker. Must be nice, but I'm on a fixed income. I can't afford all these fresh produce, fresh greens and Dr. V. Um, I can't afford a trainer. I can't afford a gym membership. Uh, you know, all sorts of reasons. So I realized then, aha, obesity and money are related. So first thing I want you to do is comment if having if money stresses you out. If have if not having enough money stresses you out, right? And if you're a stress eater, right? But you're stressed out about the bills, or mom got sick, or your husband just got laid off. Because I see that all the time. People post that. You know, Dr. Vaughn, I was doing really good with my bypass, and then my husband got laid off. My mama got sick, and I had to like quit working. I couldn't do my side job, right? Um, this thing happened to my son, my daughter. Yes? And that made me stressy, okay? Those are all money issues. And what I'm going to do in this next um, few series of videos is kind of show you the connection between obesity and money. Next week, I'm going to talk about, the next video I'm going to talk about is false money beliefs. Kind of get you over your hangups. And then, um, then we're going to talk about how, the next, the third video, we're going to talk about how to change your financial life, right? How do you change it? Like, literally, with free, with nothing. Like, what, vi what YouTube videos did I watch? What books do I read? Who do I hang out with? What blogs? You know, all sorts of stuff. What skills? What are the most important skills? And then the last in the series is your opportunities. What opportunities are available? I mean, if you can do a Facebook post, I can show you how to set up a Shopify store. You have a 14-day free trial. All sorts of different free trials you can do. You can start Uber driving. You can start doing all sorts of stuff. Um, and that's the last uh, video, okay? All right, and we'll also talk about network marketing because network marketing, honestly, is the fastest way for you to change your life um, with very little investment. Now, is it perfect? No. Do people lose money? Yes. But do people make money? Hell yes, they make money, right? But it's just, do you believe in the product? Can you plug into the system? It's not perfect, but it's better than most. It is a better opportunity than most, and, and that'll be our last topic, okay? But tonight, we're just going to talk, I want to teach you two real important nuggets, maybe three, three important nuggets, okay, about obesity and money. Now, money, okay, we got to get over this hang-up about money, I promise you. If you stay with me over these videos, your life will change, okay? Everything, first thing I want to teach you, everything Underline everything. I didn't say some things. I didn't say most things. I didn't say your favorite things. Everything that you want or have. Like you want it or you already own it. Is a result of a money exchange. Exchange. Amen? Everything that you want or have is a result of a money exchange. Okay? So you're watching me. If you're watching me on your phone, that shit was not free. You're on some sort of monthly payment plan. Are you on wireless? You're paying for that. Does that make sense? Everything you have is a money exchange. This shirt was a money exchange. Yes, I print these shirts. I know how to, I'm going to teach you how you can have your own t-shirt store online, but there's a base cost to this shirt. There's a cost to the technology, to the software that I use to create this, you know, shirt, right? Everything you have is a result of a money exchange. The car you drive, you have to either put down a payment, pay somebody, and, and, and finance it. Oh, Dr. Vong, no, no, my car's paid off. No, it's not paid off. You still have to pay insurance on it. You still um, have to like put gas in it. You still have to maintain the oil and the tires. And all of that takes what, guys? Money, okay? Everything in your life is a result of a money exchange, okay? 
So we're gonna talk about real quick food because most of you guys watching me are weight loss surgery patients, right? You guys understand that food is money. I mean, you can't go into a store, a grocery store, any grocery store. I didn't, you don't have to shop at Whole Foods. There's like regular grocery stores that have plenty of good foods, but even junky foods. Dr. Vrong, let's say you're just gonna buy a bunch, it's like, like, F you Dr. V, I'm so stressed out, I'm just gonna eat junk food, okay? All right, fine, go eat junk food. You have a dollar snack packs, you have your canned Wolf, Wolfgang chili, you got your frozen meat patties, you got um, ding-dongs, you got little hostess cookies, all the junk foods you want, you go to the cash register, what's gonna happen? Bring, bring, bring it up, right? 20 bucks, because it's junk. 25 bucks, 50 bucks, right? How much do you spend on groceries every week? Just think about it, all right? Include your junk food. All right, all right, Mary, uh, your total is $45. Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a really good person. Okay, I still need your 45 bucks for junk food. No, but you don't understand, I work really hard. Yeah, we all work hard, Mary. I still need your 45 bucks. No, no, I'm, I'm a really nice person. Well, I am too, I, I need to keep my job. I need your 45 bucks, but you don't get it. I'm really spiritual. Yeah, yeah, I'm, spir I'm a pastor, I'm spiritual too, I'm a pastor. I just have to, be, I'm making that shit up. I'm not a pastor, but you get the idea, right? I still need your money. It doesn't matter. Everything that you have was a money exchange, okay? And at some point, maybe, yes, maybe right now you're on a fixed income. Maybe right now you have to have food stamps. Maybe, I know, maybe right now it's hard because your daughter is now suddenly pregnant and now you're having to feed for an, another mouth, right? I get it, but it's still a money exchange. And so, so the word then, okay, it's still money, right? And then people say, I got to stretch, Dr. Vaughn, I got to make my money stretch my dollars. Well, yeah, you can stretch your dollars or what? What's a better solution than trying to stretch your dollars? Make more dollars, yo. Why not make more dollars? It's so much easier. It's so much easier. Make more dollars. Okay, so your food is a money exchange. So what I want you to do is start getting out of this mentality. Well, if this is so simple, right? If I have to give my money for junk food, why don't I just give my money instead and get healthier foods? Healthier, tastier foods. Once you start eating healthier and tastier foods, you're not gonna, you're not gonna want to eat junk food. When I was a little kid growing up, <laughs> I used to love those little uh, hostess, the little pink ones with the coconut on top. <laughs> and now I eat one and I feel like my teeth are going to fall out. They're so sweet. They're just too sweet. I can taste the artificial flavoring. I can taste the pink coloring, right? I can't, I used to love Twinkies growing up. You know, I, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I would, I would kind of this is kind of gross, but I'd open the Twinkie and then I'd lick the cream filling out of the Twinkie. Anyone eat their Twinkies like that? Now I can't do it. It kills me. It tastes so ugh, artificial, right? So, okay. Now food. Now, if you eat a bunch of junk food, what's going to happen? What is a result of food? It's going to be your health. Yes? You eat junk, how are you gonna feel? Not good. You're gonna get diabetes. Ding dongs is another word for diabetes. Hostess cupcake is another word for diabetes. Right? Does <laughs> that make sense? So, follow me now. Your health is a direct consequence, not indirect, not oh so so, direct consequence. By consequence, I mean you eat it, you have a certain state of health. Directly. You drink sodas and you wonder why your health is shitty. It's, it, the mentality just drives me nuts, okay? So it's a direct consequence. Not indirect, not so-so. 
Your health is a direct consequence of your food, which is money. So health is a money issue. The quality of your health. Have you been to see the dentist? Have you had a, your annual physical? Yada, yada, yada. Have you, if, are you 50? Have you had a colonoscopy? I'm almost due. All right? It's a health consequence. Um, I'll give you another one. Smoking. Are you living in 2019 and you're fucking still smoking? What is wrong with you? Were those cigarette, are those cigarettes free? No, those cigarettes are not free. How much are cigarettes these days? $8 a pack now? You smoke a pack a day? You know? You're spending $56 a week, right? You're spending $220 a month. $220 per month on a pack a day. And people are like, uh, uh, and then they get COPD can't breathe, lung cancer. And then they go, oh God, why is this happening to me? Oh God, the pharmacy screwed up and, and I didn't get my oxygen tank in time. My doctor's office screwed up and, and they didn't get the script in time. Uh, oh, why did this have to happen? Uh, prayers, uh, go fund me. Dude, you did this. You did this to yourself. You could have taken this money and done something else with it. You could have saved this towards your retirement. You could have put your kids through college. You could have like started your own business. That's the smart thing to do. You could have gone back to school. You, should, you could have bought a book. No, you smoked it away. And now you spent your money and now you have a health consequence. A direct health consequence. Guess what the number, the two biggest forms of preventable Ill, uh, disease in the world. Number one is smoking. This means if you didn't smoke, your health would be better. Number one is smoking. Number two is what? Obesity. Obesity. That directly affects your health. And these are all related to money, right? Everything in your life is a, is a money exchange, okay? Um, you want to buy a gift? That's money. You want to give, you want to throw a birthday party for your son? That costs money. You want to throw a graduation party for, um, your, your, your son? That costs money. I'll give you a new one. You, your husband, you and your husband are going through a divorce. And you need to move out. That costs money, or he needs to move out, and that, co that costs money. You know what's sad? I have patients who are boyfriend and girlfriend couples. One has weight loss surgery, they break up, and guess what? They can't move out, because neither one of them have any money, because it takes money. You have to put a deposit down on a new apartment. You have to qualify for rent. You gotta put the bills into your name, and if your credit's bad, they're gonna require a deposit on your, to turn on your utilities. It's all a money exchange, guys. You have to give dollars to get what you want, this thing that you want, okay? Um, so we get this, right? So clothes, gifts, cars, housing. This is everything you have is a money exchange. Okay. Now, this is an important one. Because some people are going to, I got to get you to understand this. But thank God I have a job, Dr. Vong. <laughs> Dr. Vong, I'm going back to school so I can get a better job. Dude, your job is a money exchange. What, Dr. Vong, what do you mean? No, like you're giving time Eight hours a day. And what do you get for your eight hours a day? You get a paycheck. So your time for money. That's all your job is, is time for money. And if your job goes away, now you're sitting at home because you got nothing to do. But guess what doesn't come every other week? Your paycheck. This is very simple. Now, 
I want you to remember this part real quick. Pay attention real quick because this is going to tie into what we talk about in the next few videos. Okay? This is false. <laughs> what are you talking about, Dr. Vong? People believe that you're exchanging time for money, but it's not true. Because if you were just exchanging time for money, you could just sit at home and they would send you a paycheck. <laughs> but that's not what happens. So first thing I want you to do is tonight, if you are stressing out about your job, I want you to go look up a, a guy named Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N on YouTube. So Jim Rohn says, no, you get paid not for time, but you get paid for bringing value, bringing value to the marketplace. So your job is a marketplace and you're going to get paid by bringing value to that marketplace, right? I mean, if you're a kid working at McDonald's, they're going to pay you minimum wage because it's not that much of a skill level. But once you become a bariatric surgeon, they're going to pay you a little bit more. And then, you know, when you become a CEO of a company and you drive value and you, and you create a lot of jobs, you get paid a lot more. And a lot of people who you would think are successful, like doctors, do not understand this concept. They don't understand that you get paid to bring value to the marketplace. So I'm in, you know, I'm in these Facebook groups with other doctors and surgeons. And every year when they announce how much money a CEO of an insurance company gets paid, right? They'll make, they'll make, you know, a typical surgeon will make, you know, 300,000 a year, which sounds a lot for the average person who makes about 50,000 a year. But for the amount of time and schooling, it's not actually that much. But the doctors will get mad because the CEO of an insurance company will make $25 million, $30 million, $40 million. And, this, and the doctors get mad. Like, this is the problem with health care. We're the ones taking care of the patients. And we can't get insurance to prove their medicines, their tests, their CAT scans. And, and the insurance companies are always like, like saying that they're, they're losing money and they have to tighten up the reins. And then, boom, the CEO gets paid $40 million. And I say, I don't see the problem. Dr. Vong, you're crazy. Why don't you see the problem? Dude, that CEO of that insurance company brings massive value to the marketplace. Okay? I mean, I think roughly there's about 3,000 bariatric surgeons on the planet. Um, how many CEOs of insurance companies are there? You know, there's only a handful of those guys. And there's only a handful of candidates that could do that job. So they're much more valuable, right, to the marketplace. Now, you might be a valuable person to your church and your community and to your family. You're, I'm sure you're a great mom. So you, you got to get past the emotional side about money, right? You have to get past that. And you got to, if you want your life to change, if you want your money life to change, you got to take the emotion out of it, okay? And these doctors are upset because they're very emotional about how much this insurance CEOs are getting paid. But when you take the emotion out of it and you understand that that insurance CEO controls, you know, hundreds of thousands of lives. If he makes the wrong move, he or she makes the wrong move or changes policy or cuts reimbursements or blah, blah, blah. I mean, they affect a huge amount of people. You know, a doctor affects, sees 25 patients a day, maybe has a practice of a thousand patients. I mean, that's important. Don't get me wrong. It's important, but they're not controlling mass markets like someone at the CEO level. So I hope you understand that you're getting paid to bring value to the marketplace. So what does that mean? That means you just have to become more valuable to the marketplace. Okay, that's all. That's all you have to do. And that's what I'm going to start telling you and explaining to you over the course of um, this video series is how do you become more valuable to the marketplace? Okay, I'll give you a very easy, simple uh, example. Um, T-shirts are everywhere, but I mean, you don't want to see me naked, really. <laughs> we wear clothes for a reason, right? So if we're going to wear clothes, a T-shirt 
let's put a cool logo on it, right? Because other people want to wear a cool logo. So you learn how to make this t-shirt like I learned. I taught myself how to make these t-shirts. And I do it all online. I don't have a garage full of t-shirts. I don't mail these out hand by hand. I just set up, set up the store. And I'm going to show you how to do this here in the next few weeks. And this will make somebody happy, right? Comment if you have ordered one of these shirts and you love it. I mean, I wear it all the time. It reminds me, I want to fear less. I want to be more. I want to be fearless, right? I pretty much wear this shirt every day <laughs> these days. So that means I'm bringing value to the marketplace because um, I'm providing clothing. I'm providing jobs for the people who you know, set up the stores. I'm, I'm adding to the infrastructure. And then to the client, to the customer, they're getting a cool t-shirt they like to wear. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Sitting at home bitching and complaining will not improve your station in life. Understanding that everything that you have or want is a money exchange and it's easier if you just make more dollars by being more valuable to the marketplace. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Cool? So this means everything you have or want has a price. It's so simple, I know. Like Dr. Vaughn, get back to talking about weight loss. This is so important to your weight loss journey. Everything you have or want has a price to it, okay? I'll give you an example. Okay, so we already talked about food. So food. But I want to get away from food real quick, okay? Let's say you've been super successful at your weight loss journey. Dr. Vong, I'm your number one fan. I started following your advice before surgery. I lost 60 pounds before surgery, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Now, as a reward for all your hard work, you have loose skin. Dr. Vong, just tell me what to do about my loose skin. I have a video on that. But Dr. Vong, I can't afford those creams. Dr. Vong, I can't afford that wrap. Dr. Vong, I can't afford that stuff. Well, if you have loose skin now, you're going to need what? What's the only thing that gets rid of loose skin? Plastic surgery. Which is what? Money. Unemotional about it, y'all. I love you very much. I am so happy that you've lost all this weight and you, and you have this loose skin, right? I call it a badge of honor. Shit's still going to take money. There is no plastic surgeons that's going to do it for free. They still have to pay for the hospital costs. Now, don't you be asking me, Dr. Fong, I hear that you can like donate your loose skin and it'll get covered. No, that's a fantasy. You cannot donate your skin and get your tummy tuck for free. No, no, I heard you can do it in skincare units. If, you know, for burn units, you can donate your skin for people who have had burns. No, you can't. That is a... What's that? Urban myth. <laughs> it's going to take money. So everything you have or want has a price to it. So this has a price. The body, the body you want has a price to it. Yes? You're going to have to either have plastic surgery, go to the gym, gym membership, healthy foods. Okay? So your health has a price to it. You have to pay your health care costs. Um, you have to have insurance. You have to have checkups. Even if you have, Dr. Vong, I have good private insurance. So what? You still have a deductible, a copay, right? Now check this out. No, no, Dr. Vong, I have, uh, thank God my Medicare kicked in. What the fuck do you think Medicare was? Medicare, you've been paying money all your, I mean, when you get your page stub. They took money out for your Medicare years ago. Does that make sense? And it, it might not be around. Same thing with social, Dr. Bong, I'm on a fixed income. I'm on social security, SSI. Dude, they've been taking your money out of your social security account since you've been working from day one, yes? And now there might not be, so, social security's bankrupt. 
Medicare is huge compared to Social Security. Okay, so this is all bankrupt. Dr. Vaughn, no, no, I have Medicaid. My Medicaid paid for my surgery. Bitch, I will throat punch you. What do you think pays for Medicaid? My taxes. These are tax dollars. This is what you get for living in a taxing economy. It's not free. Your health, every, it's all, right? Make sense? Okay. Let's get deeper. Relationships. Your relationships have a price, yo. You know, let's talk about your adult relationships, right? Your marriage, right? When he saw you cross the bar, he sent you a drink. Now, did he send you your favorite cocktail or did he send you a Bud Light? <laughs> Nothing against the Bud Light. But usually if you go to a bar, Bud Light's two, three bucks. You have a fancy cocktail, that's just 15 bucks. You go to California, New York City, cocktail's $20. If he can't afford to send you a $20 drink, mm, are you gonna have a different relationship? Trust me, you will. When he took you out on your first date, did he take you out to Olive Garden? Nothing wrong with Olive Garden, but I would never take a girl on a first date to Olive Garden. Takes money. The guy that you in, or gal that you're with now, there's a money value there, okay? It doesn't make them a good or bad person. Get me, don't get me wrong. It does not make them a good or bad person. Yeah, there are di assholes who have money. There are, guy, there are people who are very successful who are verbally abusive. Yes, I get it. There are also broke ass people who are verbally abusive, yo. <laughs> I mean, come on now, okay? So un don't get emotional about it, unemotional. So your relationship with your kids. Are you stressed out because you're a single mom? And I know single moms who are working three jobs. You don't, do you think that affects your relationship with your kids? Heck yeah. Yes, it does. Right? If you're stressed out because you're not sure you can make the bills, is that gonna affect your family relationships? Yes. If you've got a rich cousin who's always wanting to go to Hawaii or Mexico, but you feel like insecure because you can't ever afford it, so no, no, we're just gonna do a road trip this year. That's a money issue, right? So your relationships have a price to it. Now let me get deeper on y'all for a second, okay? Why did you have weight loss surgery? I've been saying this for a while now. What's the only reason why you had weight loss surgery? WLS, only reason. Please, if you ever quote this, please credit it to me. <laughs> the only reason, only reason, I want to get healthy, Dr. Vong. No, because you, you didn't need weight loss surgery if you wanted to get healthy. Only reason for weight loss surgery is you wanted things to change. You wanted things to change, yes? You wanted your life to change. You wanted your health to change. You wanted um, more, you know, et cetera. So, why am I telling you this? Self-esteem. Let's get deep real quick, y'all. Does your self-esteem have a price to it? Absolutely. Yes. Self-esteem has a price to it. Of course it does. Right? How you how you see yourself? Self what does self-esteem come from? Like body image? It comes from self-worth, Dr. Vaughn. Yeah, what is self-worth? Look, look at the word, let's break down the word. Self what? Worth, there's a price to it, man. Like I'm not gonna eat junk food. I'm not gonna date a guy who sends me a Bud Light. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'm not going to a family reunion, I'm not going camping at you because everybody's broke. I'm not gonna hang, like no, I'm going to the Ritz. I have a certain amount of self-worth. My worth comes back to my time, right? My time. I don't want to waste my time. I only have a limited amount of time. And when you start like getting the clutter out of your brain, when you start seeing, understanding, like, dude, Dr. V is right. My self-esteem has a price to it. My relationships had a, have a price to it. Like, dude. And you're never too old. You're ne it's never too late for you. 
you can totally start a side hustle and change all this. Colonel Sanders, not a great example, right? But Colonel Sanders, the owner of KFC, was 65 years old before he started KFC. He went bankrupt like four or five times in other businesses. It's never too late for you to get started, okay? I hope you understand this. I'll be back with one more tip. Tip number three, all right, super important. If it's possible for one, it is possible for who? For all. <laughs> for me, Dr. V. For me, Dr. V. Yep. For all of us. Not just you. All of us. All of us. It's possible for all of us, right? If one person has done it, you can do it. If one person can run a four-minute mile, you can run a four-minute mile if you trained hard enough. It's possible for one. It's possible for all. You know, um, when they, I can't remember, uh, Hillary or whoever it was that climbed Mount Everest for the first time, all these people died years for years trying to climb Mount, Mount Everest. Since he summited Mount Everest, Every year now, there are trekking expeditions to Mount Everest. And this year alone, there's already been like 10 deaths trying to climb Mount Everest. Now, guess what? Guess why? Guess what the cause of the deaths are? Is it from people falling off? Free? No. The deaths have been caused because there are so many people climbing Mount Everest now that it's a roadblock. It become, it's like a traffic jam, and then you end up freezing up there. <laughs> I mean, you've run out of food, you run out of an oxygen tank. That's why 10 people have died on Mount Everest this year, because there's so many people going up Mount Everest now. So if it's possible for one, it's possible for all of you. So let me ask you this question. Has there been a single mom <laughs> who's turned her life around, went from broke to rich? all the fucking time. If it's possible for her, it's possible for you. Has there been a retired senior person who turned their life around? Yes, I told you the story of Colonel Sanders who was 65 before he started KFC. Does that make sense? Have there been people who are uneducated who made millions and millions of dollars? Absolutely. I mean, Bill Gates was a college dropout. He never finished college. He did one year at Harvard, I think. Right? Jeff, I don't think Jeff Bezos has a college degree now that I think about it, too. Um, <clears throat> so, people have done it. <clears throat> so, by this I mean success leaves clues. All you have to do is find the right formula. Copy what they did and you guarantee the same results. I mean, it has to be. This is, this is, the, this is what science is, economics is. This is why we went to college. See, we thought, we were told that if we worked hard and we could save up and we could retire. That's a game plan that you guys follow that doesn't work. Now we're realizing, no, that doesn't work now because the ec ec economics of it all has changed. Success leaves clues. So by that I mean, uh, if you watch here in two weeks, I will show you how to make your own t-shirt store online. I can show you how to become an Amazon affiliate. I can show you how to start up your own um, online businesses. I can show you uh, which network marketing companies to join. We're going to talk about network marketing companies because that's the fastest way for you to change your life. Success leaves clue. And even with uh, Dr. Fong, those are pyramid schemes. And Pete, no people lose money in that. No, no. A lot of them lose money because they don't follow the success patterns. If you follow, if you just do what the successful people have done, you're guaranteed to be a success too. Does that make sense? Hey, raise your hand if you followed what I've taught you and you've lost weight. <laughs> well, duh, success leaves clues. 
This is why I have thousands of successful weight loss surgery patients. And the second they, you know, they do what I tell them, they lose weight. Their surgery is great. The second that they stop doing what I tell them, then they can cause weight regain. Heartburn, weight regain, blah, 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 bad relationships. I, I told you that dude was no good. I told you to focus on yourself. I mean, this is the success leaves clues, okay? Now, if it's special for one, if it's possible for one, it's possible for all. Now, last thing, and we'll end on this. You are not special. Dr. Vaughn, that's rude, I'm special. You always tell me I'm special. Now listen, you are special, but in this regard, you're not special. You're no exception. The stories that you keep telling yourself about being too old, being too broke, no self-confidence, low self-esteem, too many kids, I already work too hard. Dude, you're not special. You're not an exception to this rule. If you would just do what's already been done, you will get the same results. You're not special in this case. I hope that makes sense. Now, if this is true, Dr. Bowen, you're such a dick. No, 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 I'm not being a jerk. This means there's hope for you. For what? Hope for what? Hope for change. Why did you have weight loss surgery? You wanted things to change. Listen, you're not special in this regard. Most, 70% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. 70%, you know, two thirds of Americans are uh, overweight. You don't want to be average. The average American is sick and broke. You don't want to be them. You don't want to be average. You want to be a Dr. V top fan. Look at your Facebook postings when you comment on the video and see if you have a little top fan badge and a top fan plus one badge. That's what you want to be. Because we're a different community. We're not like other weight loss surgery communities, amen? I'm not spoon feeding you stuff. If you share this video into one of your secret or private groups, I almost guarantee you, you will get kicked out. They do not like Dr. V because I call them out on their bullshit. You cannot keep eating Chicken McNuggets with cheese sauce for extra protein. It will not work. Dr. Vong says, dude, stop eating McDonald's. Why are you eating McDonald's? Dr. Vong is all I can afford. Not true. Not true. A broke ass single mom who's uneducated has changed her life around. That means you can do it too. You are no exception to the rule. When dad was 36, when he and I immigrated to the United States, <clears throat> after six months in a refugee camp. He was 36, I was six. We could not speak the language. We did not know anybody. We did not, we could not, we had no resources. And in 16 short years later, at the age of 52, my dad retired independently wealthy. My dad can do it, you can do it. Dr. Vong, it's easy for you. You're like a surgeon, you're a rich surgeon. Well, no. <laughs> In 2005, I, I started my practice, realized it was not gonna make any money. I was losing $10,000 a month. I could not keep up with the bills when my income guarantee was coming to an end. Switched to bariatrics, started making more money. I had $4 million worth of real estate because banks are gonna loan to you when they hear you're a surgeon. And then in 08, we had the market crash and um, Hurricane Ike hit me. September of uh, 08, went right through my neighborhood, destroyed all my rental properties, um, and destroyed my practice, and I didn't operate for six months. And I lost everything. So even as a surgeon, I lost everything. In 2009, if you had a dollar, you had $4 million more than me. I was $4 million in debt. I lost it all. And eventually it cost me my family. I had to leave Kizzy and her mom. I had to get a job in this little town in Illinois just to get a paycheck. And once I started getting a regular paycheck, I was like, damn, this is how people live. <laughs> like this is, well, this makes sense now. Money's important, Doc. <laughs> See, and I'm a surgeon, but this is the sort of like, it doesn't guarantee that you have your head on straight, that, you're, that you understand these principles. 
These are the principles that I had to learn to turn my life around. So that was like, you know, 2008, 2011. <clears throat> and then last year, nine years later, nine years later, at the age of 45, I retired from surgery. Not because I made a sh ton of money from surgery. It's because of all the stuff I'm telling you here. I learned how to make t-shirts, book sales, online courses, Amazon stuff. You can learn all this stuff. And it starts with these basic principles. You have to understand this stuff. Everything you have or want is a result of a money exchange. That means your self-esteem, your personal pride, where you vacation, who you hang out with has a price tag to it. Just accept that fact. Your relationships have a price tag. If, it's, if someone else has done it, you can do it too because you're not special. You're not any different than Dr. V. You're not any different. All your reasons, none of them matter. I'm telling y'all, right? So if you'll stick with me over the next few videos, we're gonna change your life. Do me a favor, share this video. Hit share right now if it brought you value. Tag somebody who needs to hear this. Wake up and decide that like this is the time you're gonna get your financial house in order, okay? Love you guys very much. I'll see you next Hi, time. Hi, Dr. Vong here. If you love that video, I hope you will check out Velocity2020.com. I want to meet you in person. This is my big annual conference in Vegas. It's amazing. It's not just about weight loss surgery, but it's about taking your life up to the next level. You're going to meet the best people, the best speakers, the best audience possible. You're going to really take your life up to the next level. 2020 is all about vision, clarity, and focus. We're gonna show you how to find your vision, what you really wanna do with your life, get crystal clear, clarity, and then find your laser focus to do what you need to do to have the amazing life that you deserve. Hope to see you there.